Okay, so now we are going to work on decorating the inside of the nest. I just want to make a note as well. Um, you can fill this a lot more with the Spanish moss and the crinkle paper um, more than I have. The reason I didn't is because, um, as I said earlier, I um, embellished mine with the rope that I used for the styrofoam eggs. So I wanted that, I wanted to be able to see that through the moss and the paper. Um, but if you decide that you don't want to put the rope around the, the edge and around the center, then just put more moss, you know, you can kind of just um, have it covering it or, or right along the edge itself. And then once you put that crinkle paper in, you won't see it at all. But um, I did it on purpose because I just wanted um, to be able to see so um, now we will just make an opening in the center of the crinkle paper and we are going to take our battery operated LED um, flameless candle and we're just going to place that in the center. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to be showing you first um, just decorating it with the plastic eggs. Uh, I really like these eggs because of their size and also because you do get 24 in this pack, which I thought was really good. Um, but you know, if you want to leave the eggs as they are, they look really cute. Or you can also wrap these with um, rope or even yarn. I mean, yarn is uh, really cost effective as well because you can buy a spool or um, um, a roll of yarn and a lot of times you can get the really big ones for a good price and you could do so many you could wrap so many with them and they just they come out really really cute um, but you could also paint these um, I'm going to actually be making another one and I'm going to be painting them white and then adding glitter and silver and adding glitter so I mean you don't have to leave these as they are but um, if you want to they look really cute Okay, so quickly, I just want to talk about those plastic eggs from the Dollar Tree. Um, another way that you can use them, and it's the way I prefer, I just think that it makes um, it makes the piece look more expensive than it really is. And all you do is you take your plastic egg, these ones are already done. Um, I usually use Mod Podge, but I did have this chunky glitter glue that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I bought this glitter from Dollarama and all you do is you take a foam brush and you just brush the egg all around with the glitter glue. It already has glitter in it and it's a, it's a bigger glitter which this glitter from the Dollarama is finer so it looks really nice together. So once you've brushed on your glue you just take your glitter and you just sprinkle your eggs. Another little tip is um, once they've dried, you just take a hairspray and you squirt them with some spray and that helps to keep the glitter onto the egg. So we're just going to, I like to group them in twos. And at the bottom of these, they do have like a little pin hole, so I just face that down. Put more or less, um, put as many as you want. Um, I'm just going to stick with the six, and I think that that looks really, really cute. Now I will show you um, how I use the styrofoam eggs and decorating the nest with those. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I cover the styrofoam ball with the uh, rope that I purchased from Dollarama and the same rope that I used as a trim around the styrofoam plate. So you just take your egg and I just put a little dab at the top 
just to because sometimes if you put too much glue it moves around and then it doesn't sit properly at least I think so so I just like to put a dab and just make a little twirl and then let that sit Now we are going to start wrapping our styrofoam egg with the rope. You just want to try to make sure that there isn't any gaps in between. I like to use the, the stand of the hot glue gun. And you just kind of want to swirl it in the same direction as it would normally flow. It's kind of hard when, because this rope really frays a lot. have to put a little bit, let it cool, and then press it down. And there you have it. How cute is that? I just love wrapping it with this rope. It, it gives it more of a, of a rustic uh, farmhouse type feel. I just think they come out so cute them in the rope. So usually this size, because they are bigger than the previous plastic ones that I showed you, I usually like to only put three. So I have another two that I previously had made. decorate with this project. Okay, so now moving our attention to the top of our cloche stand centerpiece, which is the wire basket. Um, now, I really like the shape of the wire basket, um, but I just thought it looked really, really plain. Now, you can dress this up in so many different ways. Um, but for today, we are going to just keep it plain. And the only thing I want to do is just add an embellishment on the top. And the way I'm going to do that is um, I did show you that at the dollar store near my house, um, they had these bottle caps. And uh, you get two for $1.25, so I thought that was a really great deal. And all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take the bottle cap and I'm going to use the rope that I used to wrap around the trim of the styrofoam plate and the same rope that I wrapped the styrofoam eggs. I'm just going to take the bottle cap and as you can see it has the, the part that sticks into the bottle. It's rubber, it's yellow. Um, I mean if you were going to use it in another way you could always paint it. but. I'm trying to keep with the theme of the rope, using the rope. So um, what I decided to do was just to take my rope and all you're going to do is you're just going to, with your glue, you're going to wrap it around the base so that you have something like that. Okay, so I already did um, the other one, which was this. 
Okay, so now we are going to do the top piece that um, is going to sit on top of the wire basket. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of those bowls, um, the ones that came in the pack of four, and we are going to take our bottle topper that we wrapped with rope, rope, excuse me, and we are going to glue it in the center of the bowl. because this way the rope will wrap around it and it will hold it in place better instead of wrapping the bowl and then just gluing it on top. So we're going to take our glue. Again, I'm going to just start with a dab just to put my rope in place. that there for a second as it dries. And then we are going to wrap the bowl Okay, so now that we have attached our bottle cap to our bowl and wrapped it completely in the rope, what we are going to do, um, I don't cut the rope off because we're not done yet. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some glue along the bottom and then I am going to attach it to the bottom of the wire basket, which in this case is the top of the cloche.
once I put the glue on, I kind of just tip it upside down because I don't want the glue dripping. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I've attached the bowl and it's on. I can lift it now. Um, I'm going to just do a lip around because there still is a bit of a basket. I was a little bit off um, centering it, but that's okay. It's not too much off. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to finish wrapping the top or the bottom of the wire basket so that it looks finished. Now again, um, because it is a wire basket, the glue may drip. So you can just put the glue right on the rope. And I usually just go a little bit slower here. So I kind of let it cool off a bit and then just attach it. Or another way you can do it is actually put the glue on the rope and then the, the bottom row will just stick to it instead of putting it on the wire because through the wire you, you might make a mess. But I mean, if you do it quick enough it should be okay. So now the fun part, putting it all together. Okay guys, here it is, all put together. I cannot, words cannot express how in love I am with this DIY. I just think it came out so nice. I do have a similar one already in my home, and I did purchase the items from Michaels when they had their 80% off. I don't know if they still have it, but um, and it came out really nice but I don't know I just get such a joy when I can go to the dollar store find items and put something like this together I just think it came out so beautiful um, I really hope you like this DIY I'm just gonna come up a little closer so that you can see you can't really see the flickering of the candle but oh it's so pretty I'm just going to turn the light off and see if that will do anything. There. Oh, it is so pretty. I'm um, actually going to be posting another video soon. I don't want to give anything away, um, but um, if you care to know what it is, then um, please tune in subscribe and this way you will be alerted when I do post that um, and uh, until then I hope that you will actually try it out for yourself if you do send me a picture I'd love to see it um, it's, it's just so pretty I hope you enjoyed it if you did please like share and subscribe and as always I hope to see you in my next video take care guys bye bye